Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Reri PV TV The Week. Our main topics include the news of Germany as solar world champion and the Reri AG as an example of a prospering German solar company. Furthermore, we will have our usual news flash with topics from the PV industry summarized for you. Nice to have you clicked in. Germany again world champion in solar energy. In 2011, Germany has once again been the world's leading nation in the development of photovoltaics. Now in the first five months of 2012, the solar photovoltaic energy production has already increased by 64% in comparison to the previous year. That makes the German PV market twice as big as one of newcomer Italy, which had the highest growth in 2011 with more than 9 gigawatt of new installations. Nevertheless, it is expected that this growth will not continue at this speed. It is also evident that China has installed more than five times as much PV than in 2010. The Chinese market is growing at incredibly speed and will probably be next year as big as the ones in Germany and Italy. Another fast growing market is India. Reri AG before shift to entry standard. The Reri AG operating in the solar sector is about to change into the German trading segment entry standard. The company announced this week at its extraordinary general meeting in Osnabrück, Germany that it makes big progress in fulfilling the new designed requirements of the Frankfurt stock market for all companies listed in the open market and that it will soon shift into the entry standard. The entry standard is a standard of Deutsche Börse which determines the requirements for transparency. Compared to other standards on the Frankfurt stock exchange, the requirements for the entry standard are lower to allow even smaller companies to go public. In this context, Reri also reported their decision on a capital increase of $618,000 with indirect subscription right, as well as contracts with franchise partners in Chile and Ecuador. New solar power for Portugal. Portugal sweeps support for a large solar panel factory in Abrantes. The project of the company RPP Solar that would have cost almost $1.3 billion and created around 1,800 jobs was to be built since 2010 but still did not get beyond the planning stage. The Portuguese government therefore now decided to cancel its $158 million treaty with the company signed in 2010. Solar power for Greece. Californian SPI Solar said it has completed construction and interconnection of two large-scale solar energy facility projects in Greece. A 2 megawatt development in Evros and a 4.4 megawatt facility in Orestiada are providing power to the Greek public through 20-year power purchase agreements. A 1 megawatt solar energy facility remains also under construction and is scheduled for completion by mid-September. SPI recently entered into, an, into a memorandum of understanding with the Taneo Fund to develop 23 megawatt of utility scale solar energy facilities across Greece. China will prove EU solar dumping. China is investigating a case of polysilicon dumping by German manufacturers after the country's biggest maker, Solar World, pushed for a similar European Union probe. Four Chinese solar companies, including LDK Solar, asked the government to start anti-dumping probes on polysilicon exported from the EU, mainly from Germany. The Chinese complaint follows a push of 25 European manufacturers led by Solar World to get the European Commission to investigate whether Chinese rivals sold products at a loss in regional markets. China may take countermeasures if the European Commission acts on Solar World's filling. Japan Oryx Corp to invest in solar. Oryx Corporation, a Japanese finance and leasing company, plans to spend $680 million on solar projects worth 200 megawatts in the next three years. Among other solar projects, Oryx wants to build solar power stations with a total capacity of 100 megawatts. The plans come after Japan, Japan introduced an incentive program for clean energy including solar and wind in July. Feed and tariffs require utilities to pay above market rates to producers of clean energy with the added costs passed to consumes, consumers as surcharges. Argentina about to build solar farm. Argentina plans to build a solar power project in the mega city of Mendoza. The solar park in the central west of the country is to be built jointly by domestic and foreign producers and will cost about $60 million. The park with a planned capacity of 20 megawatt will have an area of 50 hectares and is expected to be completed by 2013. JCM Capital invests in South America. 
Canadian JCM Capital has announced that it has closed financing on a 50 megawatt ground-mounted solar PV project in South America. The company has declined to say what nation the plant will be built in and did not respond to inquiries. However, its statement that the project would participate in a feed-in tariff in an area with one of the best irradiance levels across the globe suggests that it will be in Argentina. JCM will co-develop and finance the project through to construction start and will also arrange long-term financing. Saudi Arabia plans massive solar projects. Saudi Arabia wants to install more than 40 gigawatt of solar power capacity by 2032, of which 60% would be from concentrated solar power and remaining from photovoltaics. Concentrating solar power technology is being looked at as a path-breaking initiative by the country to achieve its immense energy goals. The CSB target could be responsible for the generation of 75 to 110 terawatt hours of electricity per year once it starts operations. Renix. The global stock index for renewable energy Renix World increased yesterday around 0.96% and ended with a daily height of 170.95 points. The biggest winner was apart from the American GT Advanced Technologies, whose share climbed by 11.55% to $5.93, the Spanish company Gamesa, whose shares increased by 9.44% to $1.89. On the other hand, the share of Chinese high speed sank by 14.89% to $0.3. Those were the news for this week. Next Friday, we will be back for you as usual. In the meantime, I also recommend you to follow our daily news on our website pv.tv. Until then, see you and goodbye.